So if you're watching this video and you see my new Jawbone Up, could you have told that it was a Jawbone Up without me telling you? Well, we're talking to a company that's trying to do that by looking at the visual data on the video itself. It's called Venom, and we're going to see it right now. Who are you? I'm Kevin Lenane. I'm the CEO and founder of Venome. Uh, Venome is a company that basically indexes what the stuff that's in video. We, we can tell you what is actually in the video and use that data for uh, search, advertising, and social purposes. Right now, we're watching you on video, and it's 30 frames a second. What are you doing when you're looking at this video later, when your system looks at this video? What is it looking for, and how does it work? So um, there's a couple different steps to how this works. Um, so what we do is we take a, a video and we divide it into its component parts, which are basically frames. Um, and we go and we go look at the video and we say, okay, this video is, let's say it's 10 frames long. Um, we find out in the video um, where things are changing and where things aren't. Where we find out that things are changing. For instance, right now, if I'm just sitting here for three seconds, right, we're not going to pull more too many frames for when I'm just sitting here because nothing's changing and so it'd just be repetitive. So we actually track these things called runs, which are basically um, long runs of the same uh, content. And then at each change, we pull uh, a frame and we run a computer vision match. So we do that um, for each time the video changes. So let's say it's three or four frames for, for a 10 frame run. Um, and so we can see in the video now we're pulling these different pieces of data. And so we've got each individual piece of data from four frames out of the 10. Um, then we start to look at all that data as a whole. So that's the first step. So like right now, is it looking at your shirt and trying to uh, put an object tag on that shirt and try to put a brand and stuff like that on it? Or? So what happens is, if, if it, we're talking about me, right? We're my shirt has a little penguin logo. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but what happens is we pull um, a computer vision match and we'll pull, like I said, we, if we pull four of them, on one of them we may see this penguin logo. And what we can actually do is say, okay, these tags were blue shirt, 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 and penguin shirt. So we can look at all four of those tags over this 10 frames and say, you know what? This thing is probably a blue penguin shirt. And it's probably the same thing throughout these 10 frames. Let's make all those tags blue penguin shirt. And in that way, I only need to see the brand once to actually tag it as a penguin shirt, right? So I can be consistent. It's a little bit different than traditional image recognition because you need to be really holistic about the way you look at the data. Right. Now, if I hold up something like an iPhone with an Apple logo, can it see that as well? And can I start saying, well, that's an iPhone versus an Android phone or something like that? Yeah, and I mean, so there's an Apple on, on that, right? And so we can actually tell that's an Apple phone, but in cases where you can't see the brand, there's something else we can do, um, which is essentially say, okay, what can we find out? If, we, if you just hold, have your phone out, and we can tell from the shape of it that it's just a phone, uh, what we can actually do is then go out to product databases and say, okay, give us the, you know, we want to see the top 500 phones, and we're going to compare your image to all these different phones, and we can actually get, make a really good guess about what that phone is probably is, what brand it probably is. Right? And then we can say, okay, now, now we know that that's an Apple iPhone, and now we look at other parts, points in the video, and we say, okay, are there, are there computers in this video? And maybe those are probably Apple computers. And so we can start to kind of get, make some sort of organic guesses about other stuff once we can kind of pull more data around the video. So it's, it's really about kind of connecting, there are all these dots, and it's about connecting those dots of data in the video and kind of trying to make them all make sense in a cohesive way. I, I bet this would actually work pretty well at, at identifying this as an iPhone, right? Especially if I hold it up enough and give you yeah. enough shots at it. Um, now, if, if a viewer moused over this in your system, it might say phone or iPhone or something like that. What does it do after that when you uh, actually are able to mouse over an object in a video? So um, what you're talking about is, is basically our web product, right? So. Um, when someone mouses over an object, they can find out more about it. They can share that piece of content out. So the, the other important distinction here is that these being able to index what's in a video allows you to treat it as not just one, one big thing, right? So right now, when you share a video, you say, here's this video, and go here or here to view the stuff that you want to see. If it's a 20-minute video, you, you know, you're probably familiar with that. Yep. So 
it's, it's an advantage to be able to say, here's this thing in this video that I like, right? So from a social perspective, I can start to say, here's the stuff in the video that I like, and we can take you there because all of our data has time, right? So, so we can say, here's this, you know, you want to share this out if you like this phone, if you like this scene even, we can allow you to kind of be granular about where you're doing that. Interesting. So in Minority Report, Tom, Tom Cruise has a BMW and an iPhone, by the way. Could you take me to the scenes where the BMW appears? Yeah. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah. The engine is sort of this cool thing that can kind of tell you what, what stuff is in a video. Um, there's, a couple different, uh, there's a couple different business models that we're, we're kind of uh, going for first. One is this API product. So it's an enterprise product for large media companies, you know, companies with 10,000, 20,000 hours of video. Right now, all their search all their advertising is based on the scant information that people actually say about the video, right? So uh, it forces me to say, this video is about this, this, and this, and it's in this category. And so everything after that depends on that data because there's nothing about what's actually in the video. Right. And so um, from that model, that's a license model, and we basically say, here is, it's X cents a minute, and we'll tell you exactly what's in your video. You can use that as essentially keywords Right, and, do, and base the advertising that's near the video and around the video on those keywords, and then also search by that same data. Very cool. So this has uh, implications on enterprises because companies like Cisco have thousands and thousands and thousands of videos, and being able to search them is really pretty difficult in some, some ways. But it also has uh, implications for the consumer space. Lady Gaga might want to put up a bunch of videos, and she wants you to be able to buy the dress or the camera that she's showing you or whatever's in the video, right? Yeah, so, so we have the, the other sort of piece of this is our web product, right? Um, and the web product's a little bit different because it's free, right? And we need to monetize it in some way. And so we're kind of playing with the idea of taking what we talked about before, which is not treating a video as one big thing. A 20 minute video, that's a lot of stuff, you know? And so not treating it as just one big unit, but breaking it up into its component parts and saying, okay, here's the stuff I like from this video, and here's maybe some other stuff that you might like based on the stuff, you know, your preferences and your likes and your dislikes. Here are things that you might like within this video, right? And so you can get, you can make some pretty interesting um, interactions around being able to kind of hit in the middle of the video. Yeah. Um, are you, uh, your system is mostly studying the data in, in the video frame itself, the visual data. Are you thinking about putting this together with studying the social data? Because if I'm watching the Oscars, for instance, and millions of people are watching, they're all saying stuff on Twitter about, oh, Lady Gaga has the worst looking dress, you know? And, or somebody might say, oh, that's a Vera Wang dress. Or we're telling each other about what we're seeing and how it's emotionally, uh, hitting us, right? Uh, I've seen my videos get into a huge blog posts where somebody talks about what we discussed and they write more about it and they add more context to it. Are you, are you looking at that outside to help inform the object data that you're seeing with the visual uh, engines? Yeah, so um, in our web product right now, um, when you are interacting with it and you say, okay, I like the, I'm interested in this object, you leave this comment um, what we kind of want to transition this, we have this integration of where we say, you know, I want to share out that I like this dress, right, this Vera Wang dress. And so I say, I like this dress, and I create my own, it, it spins out this little page, which has the, features the clip of the dress, and has a little ad that you can buy the dress. Um, but what we're also doing there is capturing someone's, you know, opinions on Facebook, right? So that page has yeah. comments, right? And so from that interaction, we want to kind of move towards people being able to actually um, almost like a wiki style, being able to say, okay, you know what, I can actually tell you more about what this is, right? And so my interest is, hey, this is a dress, but I'm the one that can actually say, you know what, this is a Vera Wang dress. Yeah. And so being able to integrate that and then kind of yank that stuff into the, all this processing that we're doing is really interesting because then all of a sudden you get this really powerful, super detailed granular data, but you're not, you're not paying for it, right? It's, yeah. the, so it's everyone is contributing and, and so, there's a lot of interesting things that we can do, that, do there. There's also a, a possible integration with um, the audio track, right? So being able to pull out, you know, since the, everything's happening at a time scale, right? We can look and say, okay, if we've tagged just a can, did anyone say Coke within five seconds of that can? 
can we logically say that that's probably a cocaine? And so trying to get more detail in that way as well is another thing we want to do. When I meet with investors and they hear pitches from entrepreneurs, um, a lot of times they'll say, oh, that seems like a feature, not a company, or a feature, not a product. And, and I'm having that kind of tinge with you. It's like, why wouldn't YouTube do this and add it on a YouTube? And now all the world's videos have these new kinds of tags that are inside the, the video. So, right. so give me the picture of why you're not a so feature that's, and you're a I've company. I've had that question before. Yeah, um, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> so, yeah, so we, I raised money. We raised just, just closer around like a, a month and a half ago. And uh, that was a question a lot of people ask, which is, you know, basically, in short, what you just asked is, why, is it, why wouldn't Google do this? Yeah. Right. You know, they do indexing, they have YouTube, they have goggles. I mean, it's just, um, and the answer is, you know, um, maybe, they, maybe they are, right? I mean, they probably are. Um, however, the, the market's big, right? I mean, there's, fift like I said, there's 15 billion internet videos out there. Yeah. I think YouTube does five billion views a month. I mean, that's an unbelievable amount of volume. The way that we explain this when people are looking to invest is essentially, look, if a large company is doing this, you can't really be scared off by that because there are other large companies that don't want to use yep. Google's technology. No, Facebook is right? not going to use Google right. technology. Right. right. AOL Video, they probably don't want to use Google technology to create their ads. Right. And so yeah. there's there's opportunities to help other large companies with their processing if another large company is coming out with it. Okay. I mean, granted, if if, um, you know, if a bunch of large companies came out with the same thing at the same time, it'd be difficult to compete, but the likely scenario is that a larger company comes out with something like this, and then we can help some other larger media-oriented uh, company do this. So is this uh, something that we can use in, on our own videos now? Is it an actual shipping product, or is it a prototype? Or is it's it a, a prototype. Type? We have two or three large media organizations that we're working with right now. Um, I can't talk about the large media organizations, but we are also working with a company called Vidcaster, yep. um, and we're building a plugin for them to help monetize their videos as well. Very cool. So that's a little bit of a different, uh, there's a little bit of a different injection in terms of, that's more like a um, kind of a monetization option, right? Yep. So someone's producing videos and they say, I want to use this to monetize. That would be our web product and they would essentially just hit a button and all of a sudden they have this layer of stuff over their videos. Good place to be a, in business. It is, yeah. Where do we learn more about you? Uh, Venom.com. Okay, and are you on Twitter and yep, Facebook? Yep, just at Venom. Okay, and how about you personally? Just, I'm just saying, it's, it's You're just per, at Venom is me. That's yeah. you. <laughs> We're one and the same. Well, thank you so much yeah. for coming out to Rackspace and showing us. Nice to meet you. Too.